The iconic Douglas fir, standing tall in Oregon for many centuries, but the Doug fir is not doing well, with many trees dying off in parts of southwestern Oregon. In the hills around Medford, in the Applegate Valley, which is a little bit south of Medford, by Ashland, and, and really in a lot of places, even up in the, up in the Umpqua, for example, uh, right around Canyonville. Max Bennett is an Oregon State University Extension forester covering Jackson and Josephine counties. He led the recent study, which found approximately a quarter million Doug firs had died off between 2016 and 2019, with the die-off getting worse since. Why? The theory is that wildfires have cleared the way for Douglas fir trees to take root in new places, specifically lower elevation, hotter, drier areas. And so when a drought comes along, and of course we've had uh, plenty of drought in the past several years, uh, the trees get particularly stressed uh, for lack of moisture and they become very vulnerable to various types of insects. And the insects uh, get into the tree and basically finish them off. Finish them off. And that leads and to so, a cycle uh, spiraling downward. The dead or dying trees yeah, I mean, builds up fuel yeah, loads for the next fire. We are worried for the future. and We expect that we're going to see that this, this process is going to continue. We're going to see more Douglas fir die back. Bennett says the good news is there are tens of millions of Douglas firs in forest land across the state. That said, the loss of the affected firs is real. Along with increased fire risk, there is the loss of timber, the loss of habitat, and the danger of dead trees around homes, trails, and roadways. So what to do about it is the tough question. Forest thinning practices would help, but there's no way to get to every stand of Douglas fir affected. But we, we certainly can do something to uh, improve, the, improve the situation. And if we don't do anything, um, you know, we're going to be faced with even more consequences. Tim Gordon, KGW News.